Hi everybody, in this video we're going to talk about USB-C because it's not just another USB connector like mini USB or micro USB. USB-C offers an additional feature called USB-C Power Delivery, also known as USB-C PD. This is how laptop power supplies work. Basically, USB-C Power Delivery allows you to negotiate different voltage levels, of course, if the power supply uh, supports them. To do this, you need a chip on your printed circuit board to do the negotiation. And today, I'm going to review one of these chips on an Adafruit breakout board. Meet HUSB 238 USB PD sync chip, available on this Adafruit USB Type-C power delivery breakout board. It is capable of negotiating 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, 18 volts or 20 volts direct current. There are two ways how to configure the desired voltage levels. You can either do it the harder way with resistors or you can do it programmatically via I2C. In this video tutorial we're going to do it programmatically so I'm going to create an Arduino sketch uh, to configure the desired voltage. The Adafruit HUSB238 uh, breakout board has three advantages. Tiny size, a lot of examples and a very affordable price. It costs less than six US dollars and it's available at distributors. I bought mine from Mauser. The affordable price of the Adafruit breakout board is caused by the very cheap price of the chip itself. You can buy 10 units of HUSB 238 for less than half a US dollar each. Here is a closer look of the chip on the breakout board. Of course, it's tiny and because of this, surface mount technology is required to solder it on the printed circuit board. So let's summarize about HUSB. 238 is one of those cheap Chinese chips. It's very affordable, but unfortunately the documentation is limited and the datasheet is not even available in English. Here is the datasheet. As I told you, it's entirely in Chinese. Here is the moment to say once again, huge thanks to Adafruit for creating such good documentation for their breakout board, because of which we can actually use HUSB 238. Without the resources from Adafruit, it's going to be a nightmare to deal with this datasheet just in Chinese. Now let's proceed and let's solder the male header pins to the breakout board by Adafruit. This way I'll be able to create an Arduino sketch and programmably configure the HUSB238 chip uh, via uh, I2C. First step soldering, second step wiring on a breadboard and finally third step programming. And if you're wondering about my setup, the tools that I'm using are a velar soldering iron and anavi fume extractor to keep the dangerous fumes out of my face. During the soldering, I'm using an old little trick. I have a, a breadboard and the breakout board is on top of it. This way the pins are aligned while I'm soldering them. Step number two is to mount the Adafruit HUSB 238 on a breadboard and to connect it to an Arduino compatible uh, development board. In this uh, uh, tutorial I'm using an Arduino Nano clone. Only three jumper wires are required to connect ground to ground, SDA and SCL. This is the data line and the clock line of the I2C bus. On the Arduino Nano clone I'm using pins marked with A4 for SDA and A5 for uh, SCL for the clock. Here is the moment to mention one of the disadvantages of the HUSB 238 uh, breakout board that I have here. There is no separate pin with constant 3.3 volts or 5 volts to power the microcontroller that is gonna uh, control the chip uh, during the I2C negotiation. Th this means that I have to separately uh, power the Arduino Nano. It's not a big deal for this simple demo, however keep this in mind if you're planning to design your own printed circuit board with HUSB 238. This is a Lenovo power supply and it supports several voltage levels. If you connect it to a laptop it's gonna work at 20 volts but it the other supported configurations by this power supply are the typical 5 volts with up to 2 amperes current, 9 volts with up to 
2 amperes current again, 15 volts at up to 3 ampere currents. Please note that for example this power supply does not support 12 volts and there are other power supplies on the market that doesn't support any voltages above 5. So make sure that you're using the right power delivery power supply for your project. Following the tutorial by Adafruit, I created this simple Arduino sketch for controlling the voltages using HUSB238 chip on an Adafruit breakout board via the I2C bus. Um, I made my modifications of the source code, therefore it's available in GitHub if you want to use it. A link is available in the description of the video. This Arduino sketch depends on the Adafruit library for HUSB 238 that I have installed through Arduino IDE. As you can see from Arduino IDE, I'm compiling the sketch and uploading it to the Arduino Nano clone that I'm using. Now we can proceed with some demonstrations. Here we are on my desk. The setup is a little bit complicated. Uh, on the back you see my computer with uh, running Arduino IDE and the serial monitor so that I can uh, have a look at the output coming from the serial console uh, of the Arduino Nano clone that I have flashed with my Arduino sketch. Of course I have the breadboard with the Arduino Nano with Adafruit HUSB238 uh, um, breakout board. Uh, it's connected to the computer and it's also connected to the Lenovo power supply that we had a look. Uh, in the demonstration, you see how I'm changing the values for the power delivery in the sketch, uploading the sketch again and again with the different values. And with my multimeter, I'm measuring uh, to make sure that the requested voltage matches what uh, is available uh, for coming from the power supply. It's worth mentioning again that this power supply by Lenovo supports several voltages but it does not support for example 12 volts. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked this demonstration about USB-C power delivery. If you like this type of content or videos about single board computers like Raspberry Pi, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for new videos.